Assalamualaikum and a very good day a bit to Dr. Zaliza. Um, we are from the group called Wombat. We would like to present our statistical research which called the relationship between online learning materials and GPA for IUM students. Without further ado, let me introduce myself. My name is Nurul Hanis and here's my group members, Ali Shakira, Trisha and Anjida. Here is the overview for this presentation as stated here. I will start the presentation with the introduction of this project. The aim for this project is to investigate the relationship between online learning materials and IRUM student GPA. Why? Due to COVID-19 outbreak, the online learning has been conducted to control the whole situation. Thus, we would like to conduct a study that really lead to IUM students and the world problem. The world. Problem. So, what was the research problem? So, the problem statement for the study is: Would the number of online learning measures affect students' GPA? Is it? It is a good statistical research problem because we attempted to find out the positive outcome of the online learning and also we are eager to know the students performance in adapting the new normal now the hypothesis of this project is we assume that the higher the number of online learning materials the better gpa earned by the students that's we expect more online learning material we provide more knowledge to the students to get better grades that's all from me i will pass to the next presenter assalamualaikum thank you sister Hanis, for your presentation now we are talking about methods uh, in methods uh, the data was assembled based on the students form our university, both local and international, collected this data by online survey at Google Form. On this survey, the respondents were asked to answer a few questions that related to our research. Our survey was responded by 108 IEM students. We used random statistics method. And from data, we used variance and standard deviation to determine the spread of the data and the consistency of the variables. Uh, after that, we used uh, Javisha's theorem to find the proportion of observation and to find within two standard deviation from the mean. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Ayn Shaydat. Today, I'm going to explain about our group methodology. Our group used waterfall methodology to do research. Firstly, we do problem statement that is hypothesis. Secondly, we do research design, that is data collection. Thirdly, we, we do uh, data collection, that is we collect the data from the IIUM student. Fourthly, we, use, we do uh, analysis procedure. And then lastly, we do a, a report. For preliminary analysis, our group come out with a frequency of student based on gender and number of online material effects on student B. Secondly, is frequency of student availability to student online learning materials and the number of online material effects on student B. As you can see, frequency of student based on gender, female and male, and the number of online material effects on students GPA. As you can see, it's female student 56% for more than 5 online learning material however 44 percent less than five um, online material for male student only 58 student learn more than five online material and then 52 percent less than five online material the next is frequency of student availability to study online learning materials and the number of online material effects on student GPA. 
there are 62% students who use more than 5 online learning materials said they can study with online learning material. However, 38% who use more than 5 online learning materials said they cannot study with online learning material. And 48% who use more than 5 online learning materials said they maybe can learn from online learning material. Okay, next is analysis of category frequency of number of learning online material effects on student GPA. If you can compare the mean model class, mode, mid range, variance, and uh, standard deviation, students who use more than five online uh, online materials are higher than students who uh, use less than online study material. Okay, for analysis of category frequency of student on each gender, as you can compare the mean, model, mood, mid range, variance, and standard deviation, female student were higher than male student that study online learning material. Okay, and lastly is a uh, number of student availability on studying online learning material effects on student GPA. Okay, as you can compare the mean, model class, mode, mid range, variance, and standard deviation, the higher is the student can study online learning material than the other student who cannot and maybe they can study online learning material. Assalamualaikum, my name is Ani Shakira and my metric number is 1918228. I will talk about results of analysis. We use three independent variables as evidence in answering uh, the problem which is the relationship between online learning materials such as online quizzes and lectures and GPA for RIUM students. And the independent variables that I have mentioned before are the number of, learn of online learning materials used, gender, and students' availability on studying online learning materials. To prove that our hypothesis is correct or not, we use the mean, model, class, mood, mid-range, variance, standard deviation, and Sebastian's theorem. We also used histograms and pie charts to graphically summarize the distribution of a data set and to show percentage of proportional data and usually the percentage represents, represents, represented by each category respectively. Um, I will take one measurement which is mean to show the correlation between independence variable. Let's take a look at the number of online learning materials used which is the mean score of the number of students who use more than 5 online learning materials is higher uh, which is 3.38 uh, compared to the number of students who use less than and equal to 5 online learning materials which is 3.35 Second independent variable is gender The mean score of female students is the same as the number of male students which is the both female and 3.38 This shows that it is not really related to the gender but it more to the individual effort to get the higher GPA and it does not really matter whether he is male or lastly students uh, availability or study online learning materials the mean score for the number of students who can study with online learning materials story which is 3.59 compared to the student who cannot and maybe can study with online learning materials so is the hypothesis proven correct the answer is yes this is because we can summarize from the mean that I have explained before students who use more than 5 online learning materials, females or males students and students who can study online learning materials uh, score high GPA which is mostly scored uh, at 3.50 to 4. This is because it uh, depends on the independent variables that I have mentioned it before. Thank you.
Now we have come to a conclusion. Uh, to conclude this uh, research, uh, we can see we we can obviously see on more online learning materials. Obviously, can get more knowledge from many resources and lectures. And it has been proven that students who use more than five online learning materials will get GPA from three point five to four. So this has been supported by the central tendencies calculate central tendency calculations and using shabby self theorem and histograms as the visual presentation so here's some recommendation if the hypothesis is not proven and we would like to propose some independent variable which is which are internet connectivity to study facilities and online platform usage understanding so that's all from us. Thank you.